just want to know why we have toenails. For me, they're just an issue all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Let's start the old tracker. 7,071 feet, Brady. You gotta make it to 94. Wish we had a horse. Deer goes and fawns. Well, we are a few miles in here. Now we gotta start bushwhacking. The key is going to be finding water, which I think I found a meadow that should have some in it, but we'll see. So No water. <laughs> Schmuckadilly. Very nice. No way. A horseshoe. Right side up. What kind of progress are we making? Yeah. Uh, the kind that doesn't really look like much. before opening day so we can't kill. Therefore Jonah and I split up. He's sending me up on this little knob right by camp. He's going a little further away. Not to go rambling on but these burnt trees sure are beautiful. Just stark white with the autumn colors. It is a gorgeous time to be up here. I love it. I saw four does and three bucks. Anything all, big? All small. Mm. What about you? Saw one decent buck. Probably 160, 170. It was kind of hard to say. But got a little footage of him. Then saw a little dink next to you. And I saw two bucks, like, way too far over there. <laughs> they didn't look like anything nuts, but. I think they're safe. Gotcha. From us, anyways. Well, I guess the hunt continues. Nice night.
I, uh, I can honestly say I didn't quite prepare for this kind of cold. Got a little cold going through the pass there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, doesn't matter. Let's go. Rusty. What do you think? Um don't think he's really what we want to pursue first day, so keep glassing. Maybe find a bigger one. Things are looking up there. Things are looking up. Nothing. Let's head out. Bail. Nothing here. <laughs> you okay there, buddy? <laughs> We're gonna relocate. Well, my snacks are almost gone. We've been in here five days already running low on supplies haven't seen any deer it's just not a good hunt but in reality it's been less than 24 hours we've seen some decent deer but yeah it's easy to think that you're not in them when you are in them <laughs> <laughs> I think that statement accurately described our feelings at least just gotta find them Pretty sure I've stared a hole through this hillside. I think it's time we think about WWJD. What would Jensen do? <laughs> I'm an old mule deer master. It takes a lot of patience, but you know, it's kind of hard to figure out where where to sit and what to glass for the evening. That's where they're hiding. Just no hope there. A bit there. I guess that's why you have to be patient when you're mule deer hunting. We're not being patient right now. We're charging the gate. <laughs> we don't feel pressure, we apply it. <laughs> Tonight, but we were too slow. I was too slow. Mm. Number one peak, beef stroganoff. Can't argue it. First big game animal was a mule deer. They've always intrigued me. Some of the places they live suck, <laughs> but. Uh, it's a challenge to hunt them for sure. It's a lot different than anything else. It can be frustrating. It can be 
irritating. It can be boring. You just got to keep after it. <laughs> We're only day one into the hunt. <laughs> We're going to keep after it. <laughs> There's been a lot of talk like we've been out here for 10 days. It seems like it. I mean, we're living off of peaks. Yeah, having to filter water. <laughs> <laughs> the moon's going to be up, but it's pretty much a full moon too. So this morning they were only on their feet for about 45 minutes, I would say, before they ducked in the brush. And then tonight, same thing. It was those bucks popped up about 40 minutes before dark. So not moving a ton. Just got to keep at it and glass every little pocket you can and hope, hopefully you turn one up. Hesitation cost me tonight. No puffy jacket, Brady? Be bold, start cold. <laughs> nope, I've got every layer on I have. <laughs> 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 yeah, you do. <laughs> Even the gloves. You got your puffy on underneath your fleece? Yeah, it keeps the insulation held in. That's not how puffies work. Yeah, it is. The big puffies are made as an outer shell. The <laughs> little puffy is made as an insulation layer. So you put it on as a mid layer and then your jacket over it and it holds all the heat in. <laughs> this is the ticket right here. Mm. Heat on heat. not to do. Charge in on the deer where you, when you don't know where they are. That's what we're going to do though. What a joke. These deer are just pulling these little cuts like this. Where you, yeah, there's no way to see them unless you bump them really. Okay, 
to the right, but you got him good, I think. He's just down from where he was. Tell me where he's at. I'll get a look I at him. I want to shoot. Oh, yeah. He's down. He's down, Brady. Heck yeah. <laughs> nice work, Joner. Thanks, buddy. Yeah, he he went like 40 yards down there. Well, buck down. He ran down and we lost him for a second. And then I started glassing and I picked him back up and he was broadside in a little opening. So I don't know if Brady got it on camera, but I decided to take a second shot. And he went down, rolled off a cliff, and then into the brush. So Brady's going to stay here, <laughs> and I'm going to go over there because it would be pretty hard to find him if we both went right now, I think. All right, I got over here. I could smell him. Then I got to that rock where we thought he was and couldn't see anything. So came back up the hill. Bam. There he is. He's even better than I think we thought. Oh, heck yeah. Big old three by four. Now, Brady just needs to truck over here. He's back up there on that knob. So we'll get him cut up. And then I think we might just leave him here while I'm back up to the top, get our camp and then drop back down with him, so. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. He is a three on that side. Yep. Very cool. Very cool, Jonah. So he rolled off the, whoa, of these okay. right here. That's sketchy. And a leaner. Timber! Fortunately, he died in the shade. Unfortunately, it's pretty steep, so. Great, whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Two. Three. Oh, oh, oh he's gonna stay. Got Lou. Hey. Got them all cut up. Sounds like we're gonna head back up, leave him here, head back up, grab camp, come back here, load our packs, and then go to the truck. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be a real winner today, Brady. <laughs> it's my mama didn't raise no Sally. <laughs> This one will suck. This point in time, what do you do to motivate yourself? <sighs> Tell myself there's people out there working harder, Brady. 
Not that I'm fat and out of shape. We're down almost two miles. We got about two more to go. The best part of the entire trip, Brady, is right here. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I'm a hurting unit. Oh. Ooh, doggy. That concludes another great hunt. Thank you, Brady. You bet. Oh. <laughs> it's dinner time, buddy. Let's get home. Let's get home. <laughs>